Hi, everyone. Well, in the last live chat, I was asked to make a video um, dedicated to drilling holes in glass. Now, probably the only time I ever drill a hole in a glass is for a pendant. And so what I've done, what I thought I would do rather, is show you uh, a different sort of pendant. Unlike my usual crystal ones, which if you look back, there is a video which includes drilling a hole, which is interesting, as you know. Anyone who's seen it will know what I mean. <laughs> and that was a lead crystal overlay. So what I've decided to do is something different, and maybe you will be able to guess. Listen to that. Have you worked it out? I got loads of it and it is quite easy to come by. It's very cheap, but it is tough as old boots. Sea glass. <laughs> now, sea glass is used quite a lot for pendants. Um, just, I suppose, um, souvenir type pendants. If you visited a, a little seaside resort, maybe in the gift shop, there will be sea glass pendants. Uh, look how thick that is, my goodness. Um, now, sometimes there you will find there are people that tumble them and make their own sea glass. That is cheating. That's not right. Um, these have been collected on the beach, and so they are pretty genuine. Gosh, some of them are really rough and ready. They're not very nice. Um, but... They, they are, yeah, yeah, something different. Now, let me show you what I've done before. Because what I like to do is not just keep them plain, like you will find in the shops generally. I will like to engrave something on them. And if you think about it, that is not going to show up because that is effectively already blasted. It is rough as anything and pretty white. So engraving's not going to show up. So there's a solution to that. There we go. That is quite cute. Something different, something cheap, um, something that, you know, you, you could buy for your mate. You know, if you're a teenager, you've gone on holiday and, and these little things are in the gift store. I've engraved a little heart quite deep into that and I have filled it with a paint. And this particular paint is a paint that's that's full filling in glass. And I know that if you were to try and use um, the gold or the silver that we use at the moment, this sort of a polishy thing. You won't be able to polish off from the edges, obviously, because it's all uh, as though it is sandblasted, and that's just going to absorb all the gold and silver, so that won't... Well, it could be interesting. <laughs> Who knows? So, I haven't decided yet. I might even try that by painting it in gently but I don't think it'll stay because I'm creating a bigger area um, and I think maybe the paint will grip more I will actually experiment and see but you know what I'm like I've just <laughs> well we'll play it by ear see what happens the hole itself obviously quite a large one and uh, I've used a little gunmetal jump ring and a very, very cheap, if you look up findings on the internet, you know, you can get really, really cheap. Um, this has got like a cord, it's getting all tangled, it's got like a cord and a bit of um, fabric. It's just something funky, it's something different. I like using leather, I like using um, silver, you know, silver chains themselves. But you can buy leather thongs really, really cheaply as well, and that, that can be fun leather and, and sea glass why not um, so let's do that let's let's have a little play and and see what happens <laughs> can't can't say I've ever worn sea glass never worn it in my life actually but um, yeah enjoy let's have some fun
And I must mention this as well. It's, it's quite a good idea. In fact, I think it's quite important when you are creating little bits of jewellery or any glass is the packaging. And for my jewellery, what I do is I buy these cheap little bags online. Um, you can buy them by the hundreds. Um, and I wrap the jewellery up in some black tissue paper and shove it in there with a little business card. And then I put it into a little box. And these little boxes are so cheap as well. They're a clever, clever cutout design. Flat packed, look like that. Very, very simple. But they've got some special little folds. So when you fold them, they become a little 3D box. I stick a little LP sticker on. And my LP stickers only are for my jewellery. And stick the... the pendant inside there and it's a little bag and, and it's a lovely little gift lovely and it's not expensive very important to finish your work like that just a tip right let us proceed first of all obviously I'm going to mark where I want to drill the hole turn it around and you can see through the other side and then mark the opposite side um, so that they match up basically here I've used a permanent pen I wouldn't normally on this for design because I think once that permanent ink is in there it'll be very difficult to take out. But obviously we're drilling a hole so it doesn't matter. Quite a large uh, diamond, a fresh diamond burr and of course lots of water to lubricate and look after the diamond. Once I've got my fingers and thumbs all sorted out Gently does it. Now, again, I'm trying to get lined up for the video, not doing particularly well for the camera. I'm trying to keep my head out of the way as usual. And um, what I'm trying to do is not have too much overhang. Uh, I am leaning it on the piece of wood at the front of my holder. Uh, it's got a little bit of an overhang. What you really would like to try and do is put it on something like a piece of wood, piece of wood is nice with a bit of sponge or something, but solid area underneath rather than hanging over the edge. I'm not pressing too hard and this is actually working really rather well, to be honest. Um, it's not as hard as I thought, this one. And just manipulating, lifting it up frequently so that the water can drip inside and keep it nice and cool, of course. Wiggling it around and basically just working it slowly. As you hold it up, you can see how it's lining up. The water really does make a difference. I don't think for one second that this would be working half as well if it wasn't for the water. I think I had the speed at about uh, 40 to 45,000 RPM, but if you worked slower, it wouldn't matter. Just gently does it. having a bit of trouble like I seem to be doing <laughs> holding the water you can always suspend it from something anything um, and line it up line it up so that it drips directly onto the glass sort of move the glass around until it is underneath the dripping water uh, you don't have to try and hold it in your fingers like I do there you can see the little hole coming they meeting in the middle So now it gently, gently does it, even more gently, because I don't want it now to, to shatter. Um, just 
just working it slowly, turning it over. This is in real time, by the way. So as you can tell, it's it really hasn't taken very long. Now it's all the way through and it can fit the whole burr, so I am just neatening up the inside. Because of the nature of this pendant, there's no ways I'm going to try and polish it inside, but you certainly can get a white Arkansas in there and maybe a rubber and, and tone it down a little bit if you wanted to, and especially if it's um, a crystal, a piece of crystal. Whereas this is, is obviously has already got a virtually sandblasted effect. And um, so it really doesn't matter. It all matches up nicely. There you go. You will see I ran the diamond around the, um, the edges slightly just to neaten it up. Perfect. So I'm trying to show you this pen, silly. You'll see now that it is a little red pen. Um, it's a sta Stadler, but it is not a permanent pen. This will wash off very easily. So whatever you draw on there, if you don't like it or if you have the lines um, outside of the engraving, that will wash off. So, once again, a very simple little heart. And I'm just going to mark off the shape, basically. Because obviously I'm going to use water and that ink is going to come straight off. Then I realized, yeah, well, I can't really see it anyway. <laughs> so, oh, I could only just, just, just see it. So now, working the top of the, the heart first, I'm sort of making it even, um, even and deep. And to keep it even, just work from one side to the other, to the other, to the other. Um, you can do it however you like. You can do a textured heart. Um, but in this case, we're going to infill with a bit of color. So it doesn't really matter. Um, about any shading or uh, texture, I suppose, would would come through um, depending on what color you decide to use. And I'm just pulling it down gently to the point. It's quite deep, as you can see. You could actually leave it with a rounded point like that. That is actually not not too bad. Um, should have done that actually. Just neatening the edges slightly. Now, if you wanted to, of course, you could actually drill this right through. Drill the heart all the way through to the other side. If you do exactly the same as we did the hole. And that is a really nice effect as well. Do a combination of both, if you like. This is a sort of a, a medium uh, size diamond and all I'm doing is just neatening it up a little bit more on the inside and when I picked it up I didn't quite realize uh, that it's got diamond a little bit up the shaft which is not really what I wanted so at one point it actually touched the the edge which I didn't really want What would have been what would have been better actually is to use a diamond that that is complete in the ball and doesn't go up the shaft at all, and then you can 
use virtually the back of the ball to deepen the corners if you want a really um, sharp, upright cliff, if you like. Whereas mine is, is graded slightly to the edge. You'll be glad to know that I have done my nails now. They were so overdue and I've just been so busy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, enough about nails. This is a very old uh, rat's tail. Nicely sharpened and I'm just pulling it down to create a sharper point at the bottom eventually. neatening up the edge first but just makes that point that little bit sharper I'm using rub and buff I decided to try uh, because it's it's what most of you use for your lettering on bottles and perf you know, perfume bottles and that sort of thing. So I'm trying, I've got, a, <laughs> the brush is not the greatest, so I'm trying to be as neat as possible. I don't want it to go over the edges. Um, but having said that, I did try um, on another little piece, I experimented uh, just a little splash of the gold and actually that was rather fun I think you could have a lot of fun with the rub and buff on this sort of glass because it, it sticks in places obviously it's very rough and ready and it just grabs the rub and buff but for this little heart I'm just keeping it within the heart it's it's neat-ish, it's a little bit rough as well, but that is the whole effect of it, and I think that's absolutely fine. You could do flowers, you could do different colored flowers. If you're using a, a colored uh, paint rather than the gold or the silver, There's two different shades. I've got two different shades of gold. You could um, like maybe shade your, your artwork with the two different colors of gold. That would be fun. So he has me um, fighting with a jump ring. <laughs> I love making jewellery, but I'm not a jeweller, so I might be doing it all wrong. Who knows? Um, and sorry, I was out of shot there, but I was just threading it through. And I just there, mu there must be a better way, but I just slowly, slowly and carefully put the ends back together as well as I can. How cute is that? How cute. I didn't actually initial this. I think I think what I would do is put just a little LP on the side. Now, excuse the dirtiness of it, but you can see the heart through there. And when I saw that so clearly, I thought, ooh. I would like to do this again, but polish out the back uh, so that the heart uh, has a maybe a slightly darker shadow to it if you like um, from the front that would be fun now you can see how neat that little hole is I'm quite impressed with this overall look I missed, I missed a little bit there I messed up on the top of the heart but that doesn't matter I think the overall look is is rather delightful and so there you have it Hope you enjoyed this video and have a go. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers for now.